Hello my friends, welcome to today's video. We're gonna tackle concealer next. And um, I'm not sure I'll put them together with the foundation one or we just do, you know, we just put them up, but we'll see. We're gonna talk about my favorite concealers. I am a concealer junkie, but some of these have to go, they're just passed over due. I'm actually gonna uh, just take this thing out of my thin just bring it to a table next to us so we can chat a little bit more comfortably okay, let's begin with these hourglass concealer um i really like this i used it pretty much all that as you can see it's just gotta go i have the shade beach i don't think i'll repurchase because i have enough in my collection and so that's the reason why but yeah this is just pass overdue it's so this is did the job um it's gonna go next up this bobby brown stick corrector i have to shade dark pitch this is one of the newest correctors in my collection i love her it's very, very practical i love the stick form i also have her regular one in the shade medium dark bisque and you can see that i used her up i want to get rid of either of them i'm a corrector user i am a corrector believer <laughs> So I need corrector in my life, these are stains. Speaking of which, another corrector that I love is this one by Charlotte. I have the shade medium too. And uh, I use her up, not as much as Bobby's, but I like her. This is a really nice formula. I have zero complaints on it. I really like both of them. If you ask me which one of the three I prefer, I'm gonna tell you to stick just because it's so easy to use. But formula wise, the three of them are good any of the three you can go this one is not for me this one by becca i have the shade medium to deep i don't like this it's extremely emollient i don't feel like it covers my dark circles as well as i would like um you know them to be covered so this is a going out of my collection next up newest by sephora their best skin concealer i have the shade 21.5 W. I think I have to use this a little bit more to tell you what I feel like. I think I've used it only two times, so it's not fair to, you know, talk about it without using it as much. So I won't say much. I like it. It has a medium coverage, but I don't love it. This is got to be tried a little bit more. Next up by Huda. I have her newest concealer. I have the shade Granola, which I exchanged it to. Um, I had a lighter shade and I was not in love with the shade. Now that I got granola, I think I really like it. Um, some people complain that it's too drying. I don't know. I don't find it to be drying on my under eyes. I really like her and it has great coverage, which I'm always looking for in my concealer. So, uh, this one is good to me. She's going anywhere. Now and then I test out some drugstore options. I keep going back and forth if I should continue to do that because I never actually go through with that and I never show you anything drugstore here in my channel because um, a lot of the polls that I do you guys say no so that's the reason why I bought this BH concealer but BH is out of business I think they closed down um, this was nice but it's a little bit old so I'm just gonna get rid of her next up this Pat McGrath sublime concealer I have the shade LM13 this is my favorite concealer period I use her so much. I have this one. I have a backup. Um, so yeah, she is staying. Another drugstore concealer that I really like uh, was this one, the Master Conceal. I have this shade. What's this shade? 40 medium. And this was nice, but it's a little bit old as well. I haven't used her in a minute, so just gonna go. All these e.l.f. concealers the same story they're just too old i tried them for a minute i was gonna do a review on them and then i never did and now i haven't used them for over a year maybe like i don't know so many months and so they will have to go these catrice one same thing there's another elf right here i don't love them to be honest so it's fine this one as well the same i had two um, there is another elf here, this elf, the hydrating one. Uh, this is a little bit better than 
the other one. I feel like this is better. So I think I may just keep her. This Morphe one, I, I think that it didn't have enough coverage for me, so I don't want it. This is completely sealed. Uh, I bought it to be a corrector, but it's just way too light. So this I'm going to pass along. This one I remember really liking by J. Cad. This concealer is very full coverage. Soft Tan is my shade, uh, but it's a little bit old as well. I think it's going to be over a year or two. So this got to go from my collection. This Milani concealer, I never liked it. It's just not enough coverage for me. So this is going on. Uh, I think I'll keep this one. I also have the serum, the serum one from NYX. I have it upstairs actually, because uh, I've used it and I really like it. You know the one with the pink uh, cap. So if you're looking for a good serumy hydrating concealer from the drugstore, that one by NYX is amazing. This one is okay. I'll keep her. Next up, we have these two Tarte concealers. I have the regular and I have the creamy one. I got the same exact shade and the creamy is just too light. I hate that because like I thought they were gonna correspond, you know, the shades, but they don't. Um, so that's why I haven't used it as much, but now it's winter, maybe I'll get a little bit of use. Um, but this one is already too old, so I think I'm gonna get rid of her. Just the OG because it's just been here for a while. Another of my favorite full coverage concealers is this one by One Size. I have the shade medium, and upstairs I have the shade medium tan. I used that one a ton, and this one is more my winter shade, so I'm using it right now. This is really good. It's a little bit drying underneath my eyes. I'm not gonna lie. Now that it's winter, but for summer it was amazing. So, um, if you have dry under eyes. Just stay away from him. Uh, but if you don't suffer from that and you like full coverage, this is nice. It does increase, it's waterproof. It's such a great concealer. I really like him. Next up by Jouer, um, their concealer. I speak highly of this concealer. This is the shade Honey. I recommended it in my Sephora recommendations video. I love him. And now I just realized that I don't see many shades online. I don't know what's going on. Maybe you have to go find on Jouer's website. But such a beautiful full coverage concealer. Very hydrating. This is my most full coverage concealer that I own. And he's just so good. LYS concealer. This is not my favorite. It's really lightweight. I thought it will have a little bit more coverage. Um, so it's just for a natural kind of thing. I could do the foundation even if it's light coverage. But for concealer, I need my full coverage. So this one I kept because I want to try with a corrector underneath. I haven't done that. So we're going to leave her but uh, it doesn't have enough coverage for me. Oh my god, I have two more of the Pat McGrath. <laughs> I have LM13 here and I have LM14, which is my summer shade. So yeah, I have many. I don't know why I have this many opened. Uh, but yeah, those are going to stay. Suku Concealer. Mm, this is okay. It has okay coverage. If I use a corrector, it's fine, but this is not my favorite. I got this corrector from Sephora, Bright Future, in a peachy shade. I don't like it. It's just too drying. It's gotta go. A star. This is such an old concealer. <laughs> I can't believe it's still here. C15. Um, It had a good coverage. I what ifs. Next up, Huda Beauty Concealer. I like her newer one much better. But I'll keep her. This is nice. It's not my fave, but it's not, you know. Pixie Corrector, you know, for drugstore alternative. I think I like her. I'll keep her for a drugstore alternative. Mac. Oldie but a goodie. Um, I'll keep her. I need the thin if I want to do some back to Mac. Next up, these Kosas. This is pretty much an eye cream slash concealer. I wish I had a darker shade. I think I'm, I will use it a little bit more, but now it's winter. Maybe I get a little bit more use out of it. I think it's just way too light for me. That's why I don't use it as much. And it doesn't have as much coverage as I look for in a concealer, to be honest. But this is an okay product, so I'm gonna keep him. And last but not least, this Benefit Boyne Concealer. This is an okay concealer. I use it to prep my eyelids. It's not a concealer that I grab for for my under eyes, to be honest. It's just okay. Okay, I count them. We are going to keep 21 concealers. I know, for one face, 21 concealers, Angelica. It's just like, you're too much. But 
we're gonna have to do that. I just count them and we're gonna get rid of 16. That means I had 30 something consolers. Like that's just absolutely insanity. I'm glad I got to do this video. So these are out, these are my curated consolers. This is all I need, you know, for the rest of the year at least. To survive, I need to use this app. I'm not gonna buy any more consoler. Yeah, I should be good. All right, my friends, that's it for today's video. Those were my mini reviews on concealers. Those are out. These are my Holy Grail favorite concealers, as you can see. Um, let me know your Holy Grails. I would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you so, so much for hanging out, my friends, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.